When I found out that I was pregnant, the first thing I thought of, how can I surprise Mark with this? <gasps> I was really excited. I was like, we're having one more, yes. We got the diagnosis of alpha thalassemia major, and that was the first time I have heard of the condition. I was just shocked and, and confused. The doctor said, let nature take its course and try again, you know, nine months from now. Our thought, of course, was babies don't survive with this diagnosis, with this disorder. That's the information that we got from the doctors because that's pretty much the information they have. My doctor was saying, you know, I, she had heard some things about blood transfusions. We're like, what is that? We had no idea what that was. We knew that this is the right course to take to fight for her. Fluid was slowly disappearing. He was growing. When we delivered her and she took that first cry, I think both of us kind of yeah. looked at each other like, oh my God, she's she's here and yeah. she's breathing on her own. Just hearing him cry, it was like, everything is here, everything. <laughs> this is the miracle baby. His name is Caleb, person in, in Hawaii who have the in utero transfusion. Hi, this is Oliver. Oliver, say hi. hi. I would put her inside my shirt. That's how little she she was, and we just hug her. You feel your heart grow. <laughs> um, she was this little tiny thing they they put right on my belly. To finally hold my son in my arms, it's such a great joy. Just waiting for the transition to end, but she won. Hospital bingos. I'm waiting for my blood to come. We are in the hospital twice a month for blood draws and transfusions. He says bye to the nurses, blows them a kiss, and says see you later. He can have this normal life and that these transfusions are working. It is by far not a death sentence. So you never know what's around the corner. Who knows what they're going to come up with in, in Milo's lifetime.